How'd you cut it again, Pat? Hmm? How'd you cut it again? I took my knife out and had to show these motherfuckers who was here. And I was like, ah, I'm not scared. <laughs> now I'm trying to cut some grass down before I set the tent up. Instead of just setting the tent up, I was trying to be too prissy. You yeah. know? And I cut that motherfucking straight off. Just, it's for, I was like, you just cut the grass down. Let's not cut, let's cut the grass down. Yeah, right. <laughs> Boom, second one. Finger. Which is stupid because I grabbed the grass and I went and cut my finger off. I have no idea how that happened. I mean, I've, you ever cut yourself with a knife and then wonder what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, what was I, what happened? Like, what, my coordination should be way better than that. I'm a ninja. All right, my coordination should be way better than that. Like, unless this is a test. <laughs> yeah, happens. You're tired. You haven't slept. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that's it. it. Happened. Okay, Even ninjas okay. get hurt sometimes. Damn it. Take it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I can't hammer tires, sorry. I have to like just direct for the rest of the month. Uh, I can be the boat driver. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me I'll put that, the, the clot on it and I'll tape it up. Let me just give it like just five, okay. ten minutes and then we'll see. Like then, I, when you were like, I would say it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's pretty bad. I was staying as calm as I possibly could by saying, hey, I cut my finger, everybody. Yeah, yeah you did. Everybody panic, my fucking finger's coming off. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to see if there is line anyway. Maybe we can um, put it back together. I'm just going to go and see what we got in the first aid. Okay. Uh, maybe come with me. No. Did you pick it up? Yeah. Are you sure that's it, though? Because it looks that is a good idea to take that with no, you. No, that's it. Because then we can have an understanding of we, mm -hmm. the medical professionals. I don't think it hit a vein. No, it did it went right over it. Oh, oh maybe. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. It's no, you're not. You're not for me to see that. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't have to look. Kind of sensitive. Here. Huh? Is it just like the skin, like the top? For five minutes. That's nice. I can't believe we're in China. I was like this close to not even going. I was like, oh man, I'm not ready for this. But um, it's definitely like a culture shock even before we got on the plane, like in LA, because it's just like we're surrounded by like all Chinese people there. It's like not, we are outnumbered. <laughs> and it's like all you hear is just like Chinese everywhere and like nobody speaks English, even though like everybody speaks English, but it's like not that good English, you know? And um, so. There's definitely like, I wasn't ready for that, but finally just getting on the plane and just sitting there and then just, we had some, uh, you know, it, it, it went by pretty quickly because we got a later flight. So it was like 10, 20. So it's like kind of a normal sleeping time. And I pretty much slept the whole time. I read a little bit, watched a movie, then we had some food and we ate this like, uh, we had a little Chinese food plate of like this ancient egg like fermented egg or something <laughs> it's pretty it wasn't bad actually um i'm pretty like adventurous with my eating and stuff um, but that was definitely 
like a little bit more out of my comfort zone so that was cool and um yeah then we just finished the flight and here we are in a chinese airport with no air conditioning and it feels great like i am so annoyed with air conditioning all the time so even like when it's super hot and stuff even though right now it's like not too bad it's just like a nice like the humidity is my skin is really liking it um out in denver it's like super dry like i always have to put lotion on all the time like my body just not equipped for that and this humidity is kind of nice um i'm sure after a while i might get a little, little bit much muggy and stuff like that but um so far i'm like in china <sighs> so far so we still got uh we're just sitting here at the gate. We're about to go to Jakarta. And then from Jakarta, we're gonna fly to Lombok. And that's gonna be, uh, I'm a little bit nervous about that because we have to um, get our bags and then get to the net and check them back in and go through security. But we're, um, it's only like a two hour like layover. So as long as we're, I mean, it's still a domestic flight, so it might not be too bad, but um, I think it'd be good. Two hours is enough time, so we'll just we'll just find out when we get there. But it's gonna be like a, you know, a little bit of a hustle when we when we land. And um, after that, we'll probably find a hotel, or if not, we'll kind of debate on whether or not we want to keep on making the adventure all the way to the island, or should we just, you know, regroup and start the next day. Labuhan Kayanga, I believe. Um, it's the harbor to go to Porotano. Or, or no, I, yeah, we're taking a ferry. And um, the guy, we, we met this really nice guy um, back from the airport, I believe. Yeah, and um, we arranged with him to take us here. It's like about a three hour drive. It blew by really quickly. We went through all the like neighborhoods and stuff. It was really cool to see um, just like the horse and carriage and just little school children and then like, I don't know, just how cute everything is. So um, yeah, we're here now. Got some snacks uh, at the convenience store and uh, just waiting, I guess. We're trying to figure out if this is where we're supposed to wait or go somewhere else, but yeah. Look at him, okay. How long will it be? One hour? Two? Uh, how 
long from there to there. So tell me, how close are we to Kanawha Island? Um, I guess, well, at first we done it with a speedboat uh, ride to there from here, but we got, a, got in the car first, so I'm sure we're, we gotta just cross our fingers and hope we're going to Kanawha. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're going too. Um, but yeah, so we're, who knows, we, it could be tomorrow we get there, <laughs> could be never, it could be right, right there, I mean, we've seen it, so. As long as these guys are taking us to the right place. So, I don't remember ever there being a car ride to get to the boat, but we're obviously a different on a different schedule because we came no, late. You remember they said to get out of the, uh, get off the ferry to walk like 700 meters. Oh, how much is 700 meters? Seven football fields. Oh, okay. So, like, if somewhere up here, he turns left and we go to a boat over there, then that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. full, and it just rocked a little bit and the whole boat tipped over like 